Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Rude Global Nightmare Temple Season 4 Guide. The new Nightmare Temple will give you level 120 equipment set. But too bad, no new meta build or effect boost, only base stats increase. Because Season 4 gear only gives slightly better base stats than the Season 3 gear. Players only need to change gear when you got the red quality gear. Also, new class Shadow Chaser and Genetic will be coming soon anytime. It was recommended to prepare one level 3 gold weapon box in case you change job later. Also, Remember to reset your Season 3 Seasonal Stats into Permanent Stats. Cause we now are going to farm Season 4 Seasonal Stats. If you are casual or free to play, you can start with Nightmare Temple Stage 1 to 5, which is normal mode. That most of the players should be able to burst down the boss without a guide. This guide will explain, how to defeat boss in correct way starting from hard and above difficulty, which need to know the strategy. Since the Season 4, Attack Debuffer when low penetration stats is unlike previous season, it only reduce a little bit. So it was possible to nuke down boss if your DPS is high. And also, from Stage 9, 10 and above, boss will start ignoring elemental armor, which making instance harder to challenge. Demonic Eggy, Shadow, Medium, and Brute Race. Use Skeleton Worker and Goblin card to deal higher damage on it. The strategy is pretty simple. Just don't stand too near from each others, or else the bomb damage will wipe out all party. Also sometime boss will summon bomb that targeting random players. Just stay away from the marked players. Also, boss will seal the field slowly, decreasing the movable area. Something like doppelganger from Hellheim instance. Angelic picky, holy, large, and brute race. Use Minotaur and Goblin card to deal higher damage on it. The important tips is, when you were marked with small red circle, quickly move to the outer yellow circle. If you did it correctly, you will see an egg there. Also, this boss have many holy elemental magic damage beam, you need to dodge those beam and place the egg in the yellow circle. Only one egg per circle. If you failed to place the egg in the yellow circle, full screen no damage will occur, also boss will gain permanent attack boost, making holy beam become deadly. After a few moment, the egg will turn into picky, fire, small, root. Quickly kill it before it run into angelic picky, to avoid full screen no damage. So, it was better players use water converter in this stage. Because boss is holy type, most elemental DMG only deal 75% damage. But if you use water here, you can kill picky faster. Mutant dragon, fire type, large size, dragon race. Use Minotaur and Petite card to maximize DPS. You can see the color or bun top of your head, you need to prevent it turn into full purple color, or full red color, which will make you instant death. Boss will keep changing the field energy, you can know it by looking at the pillar circle color. Example, purple field will increase your purple color orb. Also, there will be a random mob that carries color orb will rush into you. If you hold too much purple color, avoid purple orb. 
but take red orb. Always kill the mob when it appears, so the color orb will drop to the floor. Then you can choose which color you need and pick them up. But sometimes, boss will randomly detonate purple and red orb on the field. So better stay away from the orb if you don't want to get it. Your goal is to keep in touch with what color meter is on your head. Dodge boss skill that's it. Avoid head turn into full purple, or full red, which is instant death. Harpy Queen, Wind Type, Large Size, Brute Race, Use Mino and Goblin Card to maximize DPS. Also, Elemental Armor is disabled. Before starting, need the strongest DPS, Royal Guard or Rune Knight to grab the Whirlwind Orb, which allow you to immune to boss normal attack and prevent tornado generated. Most of its attack is wind magic damage, but since you cannot use wind armor card to tank the damage, you will find it hard to clear starting from here. Ranged DPS has a very high advantage here. You can use the hit and away strategy if the orb holder is ranged DPS. Boss mostly cannot catch up with ranged players because Harpy moves quite slowly. If the orb holder is melee DPS or royal guard, you can try to do the hit and away strategy too, just kite the boss by walking in a circle, and let the ranged DPS attack. You can see the wind pressure debuff on top of your screen. If you attacked by harpy skill more than 5 times, the wide screen no tornado will occur which you should need to dodge skill and prevent party wipeout. Use movement skill to break free from the whirlwind pool that keeps knocking back you. High DPS burst can making this instance easier, or wait your rezzle stats is high enough to increase own survivability, then come back here again. The last one, a truss, shadow type, large size, brute race, use minotaur and goblin card to maximize DPS. This stage is highly recommended to skip. If your penetration and rezzle stats didn't meet the requirement, because the boss damage and HP is very high. If your penetration or rezzle stats didn't reach the requirement, boss mostly can one hit kill you. Safari Wall can block most of the boss damage, but will still apply the Beast Hood, debuff on you. Hope you can kill him before the boss uses the next skill. Boss will turn 2 or 3 random players into Lycan, Garm. Other players need to change target and attack Garm to cancel the transformation within 8 seconds. Or else your ally will die. Boss will also summon Wolf, kill the Wolf as soon as possible to prevent debuff stack. When Wolf death, it will create an area to remove, Beast Hood, debuff. When Boss HP left 40%, he will transform 3 players into 2 Lycan, Kobold, and 1 Lucid Lycan, Kobold Leader. But only Kobold Leader can be controlled, also gain the skill to remove teammates transformation, 
and create a field to increase the damage deal to boss. Last 3 seconds. 